Hey guys, I have not done an episode of Four Things I Love in a long time, so this is going to be an episode of Four Things I Love. The theme for this week is motivational speeches in a way. They sort of revolve around school and graduating school and after school and during school and all that stuff. So the first thing and the second thing that I love are spoken word poems which are on the YouTube channel of a person called Sully Breezy. The one over here is called Why I Hate School But Love Education. And the one over here is called I Will Not Let An Exam Result Decide My Fate. These two videos are clearly worth watching because... <clears throat> one quote that I love from Why I Hate School But Love Education is that education is about inspiring one's mind, not just filling their head. And I think that that quote is just fantastic. And so you should definitely click on that spoken word poem to just feel like someone understands what you're going through. The one about not letting an exam mark define you is basically about how there's more to life than your school marks, you know, and there's so many things that you can achieve without having fantastic marks. And very often it doesn't really matter once you leave school what your marks were. And I think that it's very helpful to people who feel like they don't have great marks. Honestly, any time that I watch spoken word poetry, I feel at loss for words because they take all the words out of my mouth and then make them sound beautiful and fantastic. So just go watch these spoken word poems. The graduation speech that I love is called This Is Water and it's by a man called David Foster Wallace, I think. It is by a man called David Foster Wallace and originally it was called In Our Own Words but I'm pretty sure that speech went for like 22 minutes. So This Is Water is here in the little box and it's going to take you to a video which basically has the best parts of his speech in my opinion. I've sat through a couple of graduation speeches in my time and let me tell you that they're pretty much all the same. It's people just looking back on all the times that they had and how fantastic they were and then at the end sort of mentioning how good luck for the future and not to stress and stuff like that. And that's never really pleased me as a graduation speech. This is by far the most fantastic graduation speech I have ever heard. I mean, it's less about what's happened in the past and looking towards the future and how to get through adult life because there is nothing that scares me more than the future. It's this great big unknown that very few teenagers my age understand and it's one of the oddest things that we have to go through and this video pretty much helps you understand what you have to do. I'm not going to tell you what he says in all of the speech, but my favourite part of the speech is at the beginning. It's about three fish who are in a tank, and one of the fish is an older fish, who swims past the two younger fish and says, Morning boys, how's the water? The two younger fish keep swimming on for a while before they turn to each other and say, What the heck is water? Basically, the story is about how there are so many little things in our lives that completely surround us and we don't even notice them. There are important, obvious realities that we are oblivious to and we should be noticing. To me, that little story is about how you should never forget about everything that's around you and you shouldn't ignore it and you shouldn't take it for granted, so go pick on that. And the last thing is an experiment which was done by Soul Pancake, which is like one of my favourite YouTube channels to watch. It's called The Science of Happiness, an Experiment in Gratitude. There is basically a whole series about the science of happiness, but this one is about being grateful for what you've had and saying thank you to people. And I think that we need to say thank you to people a whole lot more. And watching that video, I almost teared up because it is so sweet. Using scientific research, they proved that when you say thank you to people and you explain how much they mean to you, it makes you happier. And also it makes the other person happier. So I think we should all be spreading the love. So go watch that video. I hope this video will provide you with heaps of inspirational things to look at which are all linked in the doobly thing that's down below. This week I actually have a challenge for you guys and that is to give someone gratitude. That experiment video that I watched before proved that giving gratitude makes you happier and it also makes the other person happier. So go out there, say thank you to someone, explain how, they, how much they mean to you, why they mean so much to you. Just go, talk to people, spread love, be loving, just do it, just go, do it, trust me. I look forward to seeing you guys next week and I hope you have a fantastic life and stuff. Okay, bye!